Hey everybody, Audio File Barista here. So what do we have here? Well, here we have one that you already know. This is the Totem Might. This is a wonderful little loudspeaker that I bought again. Why did I buy it again? Because I absolutely liked it and I actually regretted selling them. So I bought them again. Now this weekend, I also have this one in the house. This is from a friend who is also a subscriber and he brought them here for the weekend in order for me to compare these two. So I am making a lot of videos about these two things, sound samples, all those things are coming your way. That is not what today's video is all about. Now these are second hand. Both of them are second hand. And sometimes the previous owners change things. That's what I want to talk about. To understand what I'm talking about, we have to turn these two around. So as you can see, the mite as well as the stuff totem loudspeaker, they have double binding posts for your loudspeaker cables, called for B wire or B amping. Now there's a lot to say about B wiring and B amping and how effective it is, but this video is not about that. If you want to comment on that fine give me your opinion but this video is not about that these over here these bridges these jumpers are the ones that came with the totem loudspeakers these also had them originally but the owner has made a separate set of jumpers for himself and that is what he used on this loudspeaker now in general probably the quality of those jumpers these originals are not very good so it is a good idea to do this but there's a few things that i want to say about how to do this because here you can see a picture that was something on the craigslist uh, what we call marked plaats secondhand market and this is actually a picture that someone posted of how he did is by wiring and God forbid that this was even a by amping setup so in this picture they have the bridge and both speaker cables connected it's not how you do it you only need to do one of them but you do need this jumper if you would remove these jumpers and only put the loudspeaker cable over here you would only get low frequency sounds if you would connect the single cable over there you would only get high frequency sound because after this terminal it goes into the loudspeaker through the crossover and that divides the sound between the mid bass driver and the high frequency the tweeter so you need some kind of bridge but the problem with this one is that over here if you want to go inside with a banana plug this wire is in there in the way i cannot get this one in completely as far as i want to because it will hit this wire which is in the way that's what I want to talk about, how to change that. And here we have another example. This is the Kev IQ1 that I bought some years ago. And this is how that previous owner removed the bridges and made his own connection, which is fine. But this one is still going straight into this gap. If you want to put a banana plug in there, it can't reach deep enough. Now these terminals are a little bit deeper, so it is already better. But this is also not the perfect solution. You can make your own wire, especially because most of these bridges that come with the loudspeakers are not the best quality. Unless they are, of course, then you can keep it like that. But if you want to change it, this is the way that you should make. But there's one thing that you can do different compared to this setup. So here we have one of these jumpers that I made a long time ago when I had the Magnum loudspeaker cable because I prefer to make a jumper like this or 
like this or a bridge like this and make it from the same loudspeaker cable that you are already using. It's not necessary but I like the consistency. These have the spades so they won't interfere with the hole if you want to put a banana plug in there. It's a bit fidgy to do it and your fingers are in the way if you want to film it but this is basically what it looks like and there is one way to even improve on this setup which is by replacing this one with a banana plug that just goes in there and then you have your speaker cable go in here or the other way around there's of course two ways that you can do this. Either you put your loudspeaker cable in here, low frequency side, or in here, high frequency side. Most people prefer high frequency side, so then you would have this one over here. Use the banana plug to go in there, and then have your loudspeaker cable over there. Okay, so this was just a short little video showing you how to replace those jumpers, make your own cable from your existing speaker cable, have it with spades or with banana plugs and connect it like that. And as I said, there are a lot of opinions about B wiring, so this video was not about B wiring and that will be in another video so for today this was it thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one So as you can see, this is just a bonus part. This has been corroded quite a bit. It's getting really dark. This was either cheap wire or maybe silver that has been corroded. But if you do it like this and you use wire, check it every now and then, once a year, in order to see if there is corrosion and uh, clean it up for a better signal.